In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can manage dates, due dates, start dates, and end dates in your course. So to begin, from within your course, click on Course Management. Then from the Course Management drop-down, click on Course Administration. Here, you'll find the Manage Dates link. Click on the Manage Dates link, which will bring you into the Manage Dates tool. Here, you can choose to manage dates for specific tools by clicking on Specific Tools and making your selection for specific tools, or you can simply come down and choose to set dates for specific items. So for example, I can click on specific tools and click on assignments. Then I can choose to apply the filter to just look at the assignments from within the course. So here on the first assignment, if I'd like to set up a due date or a start and end date, I can go ahead and see that no dates are currently set. So what I'll do is I'll select the down arrow and I'll choose to edit dates. Here I can choose uh, if the assignment has a due date. The due date will display it for students and if students submit after the due date, it will be marked as late, but they will be allowed to submit the assignment. So here you can click into the numbers to make your selection with the month, the date, and with the time. Under availability, you can choose to have a start date. You can also choose to have an end date. Note that an end date for an assignment Dropbox will lock out the students and they will no longer be able to submit an assignment to that Dropbox if an end date has passed. So once you've made your selections, you can choose to save. Once you've made those selections, they will appear right here, whatever selections that you have made. Additionally, if you see that there are already due dates set, to remove the due dates, you can simply choose to click the X and it will be removed. You can also choose to bulk edit dates. So if I knew that several assignments were due on the same date, I could make those selections and choose bulk edit dates. The same window will appear where I can choose my due dates, start dates, and end dates. Not all tools have the due date, start date, and end dates. So for example, discussions, if I click on that tool and apply the filter, I can come to an individual discussion and choose to edit dates. Here you see the discussions only have a start date and an end date. To select the start date or to set the start date, you can select the box and click and make your selection. To select an end date, you can click, select and make your selection. You can even choose to display it in the calendar. You can choose to save your date. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. So that is how you can use the Manage Dates tool to quickly set up due dates and start dates and end dates for Dropbox assignments or set up start and end dates for content, discussions, and other tools.